Today, YouTube turns 10 years old. Soon, the intro branding feature will be removed from all channels. And Machinima and Collective Digital join forces to go after copyright trolls. Hello and welcome to YouTube News for February 18th, 2015. I'm your host, Alex, and I'll be walking you through some of the most important and interesting topics revolving around the YouTube platform. First up, YouTube officially turned 10 years old on Valentine's Day. So crazy how old this platform is, but to be fair, the first video wasn't actually uploaded to the website until April 23rd of 2005. Do any of you guys know what video that was? It's titled Me at the Zoo, and it was filmed by Jod Kareem, one of the founders of YouTube, talking about the elephants at the zoo he was at. If you've never seen it for yourself, uh, it's 18 seconds long, and I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to view it for yourself. Anyways, happy birthday, 10th birthday to YouTube, and may your next 10 years be even more awesome. Next up, YouTube is removing the three second branding intro feature from all channels on March 31st. I'm not going to cover this in detail myself because George actually already did in a video and he explained all the details himself, so click here to see how this is going to be affecting channels in the very near future. Last up, MCN's Machinima and Collective Digital are joining forces to sue Free Play Music for being a copyright troll. Free Play Music is a company that claims to provide many creators with music to use in the videos that they use themselves for free, but when you dig a little bit deeper, you find that almost all of their music requires licensing and payments for those licenses. And then beyond that, Free Play actually feels that Content ID isn't enough of a deterrence to prevent creators from using their music without paying, so it's working together with Toonsat, another company, and they're threatening legal action against these video creators if they do not comply with their licensing demands. So with that, Machinima and Collective Digital feel like they have enough ground to actually sue for bait and switch and then extorting creators for more money. So with that in mind, I actually kind of want to plug a project that I've been working on called Beat. You may have heard of it. It's part of the Freedom Network, and it's the Freedom Solution to provide our partners with a whole bunch of music, awesome music by the way, that they can use in their videos for free as long as they're a partner with the Freedom Network. We launched on February 14th, Valentine's Day, or YouTube's 10th birthday, and we'll be uploading three tracks per week to the channel. So head on over to youtube.com slash beat and hit that subscribe button. And follow us as we release a whole bunch of really awesome music for you guys to use in all of your videos. And if you're a music artist, you can also submit your music through a form that I will link in the description as well. And you can get your music on the channel and have our partners use it in their videos as well. Anyways guys, that's it for me this week. Be sure to tune in next Wednesday for a whole bunch more YouTube news. Thanks for watching. So it's all speculation at this point. And last up, remember the story that I brought up last week about Nintendo's creator program? If not, click here to watch last week's episode and get caught up. Secrets. If you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids more worried.